Hello, it's Sonny Mick. In today's video, we're gonna be using sea foam to clean piston carbon buildup on this 2017 Toyota Camry. There are two types of sea foam. The first one comes as a compressed spray can form, and the second one, just a liquid in a can form. So I will show you how to use both of these in a minute. I will also going to using C100 kit with the liquid sea foam, and don't worry if you don't have this kit. I will show you how to use sea foam even without this kit. We are going to start with removing engine cover, unplug all ignition wire harnesses so we can remove ignition coil and then the spark plugs. It's been a long time I haven't cleaned carbon buildup on this engine, I'm pretty sure so much carbon buildup forming on the pistons right now. If you're asking how do I know I have a carbon buildup on this engine right now, well you will feel power loss and low mileage. When there is carbon buildup on the pistons, it means there is also carbon buildup on the intake and exhaust valves, and when you have carbon buildup on the valves, the engine will lose its compression due to escaping pressure from not fully closed valves. The spark plugs are clean, it means the fuel injectors are clean too. We have a complete fuel burning. Next item I'm gonna use, endoscope camera to enter each cylinder to see how much carbon buildup we have. Alright, entering cylinder number 1, we have good amount of carbon on the piston edge. The problem is when you have carbon buildup on the piston edge, over time it will scratch the cylinder wall and cause the engine smoke and burn oil. Cylinder number 2, same, most of the carbon only on the edges, and so as the other pistons are the same. I always like to put the ignition coils and the spark plugs like that, so I can know if there is any problem with any cylinder. After we saw how much carbon buildup we have, we gonna put everything back and do our sea foam cleaning test. It is not necessary to remove ignition coil and the spark plugs, unless you are doing a test like me or curious to see before and after results. When you are putting back the ignition coils, make sure to check them for a crack or if they are oiled. I also made a detailed video how to check ignition coils and the spark plug, you can check them out later. All back together, I'm gonna start using this one with a C100 kit. All we need to do, screw this adapter on the other end, it's clear, we will be able to see when it's flowing and when it's finished. I know most of you don't have this kit, don't worry, I will show you the process without using this kit as well in a second. I recommend intending sea foam or any other cleaner away from throttle body and the mass airflow sensor. So I choose this vacuum line which enters directly into intake manifold. Alright, we are all set, let's fill C100 kit canister with the sea foam. We also gonna need to connect our shop air, already regulated on 40 psi. We gonna start the engine and let it reach idling temperature. Once we are at the idling temperature, ask someone to hold the RPM on 2000 and open the valve. It will start smoking and that is normal. After using half of the can of sea foam with C100, I'm gonna show you how to use it without this kit. We're gonna need a straw like this, it came with a spraying sea foam. Put the straw in the hose and put it back. Engine's vacuum will suction sea foam from the can as the engine running. And the spraying sea foam is the same, you just have to keep your finger on the trigger while the engine running on 2000 rpm. We are almost done with cleaning, let's pull the straw out and put the clamp back on. After using sea foam, aggressive driving is necessary, so let's go. Alright, we are back, we're gonna let the engine cool down and then use endoscope camera. Okay, moment of truth, entering cylinder number 1. Looks like it's cleaning the edge of the piston, but not the whole piston face. Maybe the carbon buildup was too hard for cleaning. I will do another cycle for cleaning even more later. It's been few times I'm cleaning carbon buildup on this engine and keeps coming back. So I'm working on installing oil catch can to minimize that problem, which is very common in direct injected engines. Video will be soon, stay tuned for that. Hope the video was helpful and learned something new. If it was, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.